Welcome. This is the first in a series of videos on the Advanced Spring Design Software, a partnered product between the Spring Manufacturers Institute and Universal Technical Systems Incorporated. The first session will be just an introduction to Advanced Spring Design. This is ASD7. ASD7 is uh, an extension on ASD6, including a variety of new spring types. This is the main interface. When you log in, you see that uh, we allow for up to three springs either in series or in parallel. That is a nested spring, if you will. We allow for springs uh, to be hot coiled or conical, and the wire type can be round or rectangular. So compression springs uh, will give you a lot of versatility on that in uh, selecting different configurations. We also have extension springs, garter springs, spiral forms, including two new categories, uh, constant force and motor springs. The uh, torsion springs, washer types, torsion bars, beam springs, also new for ASD7, snap rings. So uh, depending on the different types of springs that you work with commonly, uh, ASD7 can be a big help. To use any one of the uh, different spring types, you select the one that you want and you double click on the icon. ASD7 launches the form. At this point, you default to what we call power user mode. In power user mode, as you make inputs, the software does the calculations and solves what it can. So you're free to enter whatever you want, and the software will solve the equations forward, backward, however necessary, uh, in order to uh, uh, give you the solutions. Another option is to work in something called a quick start mode, and the different spring types each have their own quick start modes. For uh, this compression spring module, we, uh, we offer something called a two load, a one load, rate based, dimensional, and minimum weight. If you click on one of those quick start modes, you see that some of the fields are shaded in green, indicating that if you make inputs for those uh, variables, you'll get a complete solution. So if we uh, will switch to, say, minimum weight, and now you see uh, that some assumptions are being made and, and only four inputs are required. If you go with, uh, say, the rate-based, now you get a different combination. In testing, we found that many people enjoy uh, simply working in the power user mode. It gives them the ultimate flexibility to enter whatever they want. Uh, I'll just enter a few values here just to give you a feeling for how uh, the interface works. Say that we have wire diameter of uh, 0.1 inches. The coil OD is one inch. And you see, as I make the entry, uh, the, the program is computing what it can. So it, uh, knowing the wire size, it gives us the minimum tensile strength. Uh, when I added the coil OD, some other calculations were made. Notice that the inputs that I make are shown in bold, and the things that are being calculated are in regular font. I'll just continue with some more inputs. And as I make those, we do get our uh, design here. There are also uh, graphical images. So, for example, you'd like to see a DXF image. We can see that. This is also included optionally on the report. New for ASD7 is a 3D image. The 3D image can be expanded. Uh, you can click and drag to rotate it. So you get a, a visual representation of the spring that you've designed. To create a report, go to the Tools menu, select Standard Report, select what items you want in the report beside the basic calculations. Click Preview Report. And 
and a report is generated. Again, any of the inputs that were made are shown in the bold font in the report, and uh, the outputs are shown in a regular font. By default, the DXF image was shown there. This report can be printed or uh, exported to a PDF file so that you can store this. This is the end of this first session. We will have a series of videos covering specific topics. Uh, I invite you to uh, continue along with this as